I'm finally here, interviewing for my dream job. After all the training I've done, I can't let this opportunity slip. Ever since I was in high school, I knew I wanted to be a software engineer. Oh, it works. <laughs> this is so fun. If I keep this up, I'll be a staff engineer at Google in no time. And so I studied nonstop in college with my eyes set to becoming the next Jeff Dean. I knew it wouldn't be easy and I would have to get through many obstacles. I worked day and night, persevered through hardships with one goal in mind. Just a little intro, my name is Nikhil, I work on the cloud team. I've been with the company around three years. Um, can you tell me a little about yourself and why you want to work for this company? Yeah, um, because the only time I feel free in my life is when I code. I may not be the smartest person, and my whole life people have told me no, but coding was the only thing that accepted me. It welcomes anyone with open arms, no matter who you are or where you're from. All you need is a notepad and the world becomes your canvas. And just like how coding shined a light in my darkest days and allowed me to be more open to the world, I want to work here to help make the world become more open and connected. Yeah, okay, sure. Um... Let's move on to the coding question. Shouldn't take too long and then we'll have some time after so you can ask me some questions. So the question is, given a binary tree, can you print the values out in an in-order fashion? In order, binary tree. <laughs> My favorite, binary trees, a data structure where each node Hello? has two. Hello, sorry, I think you cut off again. Oh, I'm sorry, um, yeah, I'm here. Okay, so um, yeah, so for that question, I will perform a simple recursive algorithm to go through the tree in an in-order fashion and print every node I visit. All right, excellent, looks good. Now, the next part of the question. I want you to not use recursion for the same question. Can you do it iteratively? Iterative. <laughs> Iterativo. <laughs> Masaka. How is that even possible? Wait, relax, think. Oh, so I ran out of flashbacks. No, I can't even pass this phone interview. Wait, I got it. I'll use silent keyboard. With my left hand, I can start typing nonsense on the shared code pad as comments, while my right hand will silently Google the answers on my iPad. And since there's no physical keyboard, it makes absolutely no sound. I've won. complexity of this? Well, if n is the number of nodes in the tree, then the time complexity is O of n, and the space complexity is O of h, where h is the height of the tree. And in worst case scenario, in an unbalanced tree, the height of the tree is n. So O of n would be the worst case. Alright, that's great. Um, I don't think I have any more questions for you. Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, so um, how do you become Staff Engineer! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. Uh, it's because I've been working on Joma Class, which is a subscription service to get high quality educational videos made by me on data science and computer science, and there's new videos every week. 
I think I made like 60 plus videos now. I think that number keeps increasing every week. I also regularly chat and mentor all of the members who are in the Joma class community. I know a lot of people get lost in their education, you know, whether it's data science or software engineering. So which is why I created all these classes so that I could teach them the right way. The first class I just launched is Programming Fundamentals with Python. Uh, I'm very proud of it. There's lots of good content there, lots of good projects in that course. And it's the way I learned how to program at first. Lastly, to say thank you to all of you people who are still watching me after I took a long ass break, I'm going to give 15% off for the first 100 people to use the promo code ANIMATE2. And yeah, I really hope you like the course. I really hope you enjoy it because I put a lot of effort into it. And yeah, if you have any questions, email me. Any feedback, please email me. I would love to hear it. And that's pretty much it. All right. I love you.